Advent, December 18th, 2023. Peace and Troublemaking. 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 1 through 18. When Ahab saw Elijah, Ahab said to him, Is it you, you troubler of Israel? He answered, I have not troubled Israel, but you have and your father's house, because you have forsaken the commandments of the Lord and followed the Baals. 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 17 and 18. Never, ever be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble. Necessary trouble. John Lewis Have you ever gotten in good trouble? I bet a number of us have. You, dear reader, might not have been arrested, but my guess is that you may have risked something important to clear space for another step on a path toward peace. Not an easy peace that comes from being quiet and letting chips fall, but the kind of peace that includes God's justice. Elijah was a troublemaker of the first order. I'm not entirely sure I would have liked him. He was rigid and uncompromising. King Ahab, on the other hand, was not. Acting with diplomatic and economic compromises in mind, he married into Baal-worshipping Phoenician royalty. This politically expedient marriage results in God's commandments being broken, particularly that first pesky commandment about not having other gods before me. By the time Elijah pops onto the scene to confront King Ahab, the religious situation in Israel has devolved into Yahweh-worshipping priests having been murdered by the king's wife's functionaries. Elijah appears to the king and announces a drought, which threatens Israel's horse and mule-based society and, no doubt, military capabilities. So when Elijah reappears to Ahab after three years of drought, it is at great personal risk. What are we willing to risk for real peace? Sandy Shapoval, Dean of the Library and Research Services.